Hi, welcome to Joanna's DIY Life. On this channel, I like to do a little bit of everything, but today is so it's Saturday. That's why I'm dressed so nice. Um, but anyways, today we're going to be making a sweet little Mother's Day gift if you choose, or you can use it yourself. Um, but it is a kitchen boa, okay? I definitely have used mine and wore it out. So I don't have a mom. Um, so I'm just going to make me another one because I need one. That's why I'm doing this video because I need one. But anyway, um, these are simple, they're easy, and I was going to make an apron, but an apron takes a little bit longer. And for you to do this for Mother's Day, this is simple, just simple. You can sell these if you choose to do that. But anyway, this, this is nice little gift. So let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna need your fabric and you're gonna need a towel that matches. Well, most people like to match. And this is a half a yard. Um, you can do a half, a little over a half, five eighths. That's all you need. Um, that's, that's your choice. Five eighths will give you a little more leeway and it's 45 wide normally. So you're gonna leave it the 45 wide, okay? You're just gonna cut your fabric um, when you fold it, leave it, cut it on a fold at eight inches. So I'm going to fold this this way, and then I'm going to fold this piece in half. And there it's folded in half, and I've got my weights down, and I'm just going to cut it at eight inches. So this is folded at eight inches, okay? And then um, we'll have our width to have our our little boa to stick our towel in there okay so make sure you line it up and get it even and then cut you can use scissors but if you have a rotary cutter it is best to use a rotary cutter um, just make sure you don't get your fingers and then there you go perfect cut now when I open this up it will be 16 by 45 or however wide it is so it'll be 16 but we want to leave this in half but before we sew anything look at that pin cushion ain't that cute i found that at the dollar tree y'all it's a wrist pin cushion and it is so stinking cute i had to have it i don't even need it but i had to have it because it's cute okay moving on what you want to do before you sew anything is take a good steam iron and your ironing board or whatever you press it on and fold up i'm leaving the selvage on because it, it's not going to matter um it's going to be tucked away so i am just going to put this down and i am going to iron this is the wrong side and i'm ironing it to the inside um just so that I don't have to do that later, it, this makes it so much easier um, to turn or anything. So just go in and I'm only going up as far as the selvage is on the fabric. And I'm ironing that piece up, okay? That's all you got to do. Now that that is done, you're going to fold your fabric in half, pin it, clip it, or if you don't want to pin it or clip it and you can sew it without it shifting, go for it, buddy. Um, I'm just going to clip it to make sure I don't have any fabric shifting because I don't want one side longer than the other side. And um, then I'm going to take it over to my machine and I'm going to leave the needle in the middle and put my fabric along the edge of my presser foot. So I'm not even, just turn your machine on and, and go most times. That's how I'm gonna sew this, okay? Make sure you backstitch at the beginning and at the end before you sew. And there's one other thing I have to do before I sew. Let me show you. Okay, so if you want this to hang up, you're gonna fold it in half and you're going to find the middle 
and you can crease that middle you can iron it if you want to to get the middle you can finger press it whatever and there needs to be a loop there if you plan on hanging it you can use ribbon or um, whatever you have I'm going to take this piece of fabric and I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to sew right along the edge and I'm going to make a little spaghetti strap loop to sew in mine so I have my loop sewn whether you use fabric and make a loop or ribbon fold it over on itself tuck it down in between your two pieces of fabric in the middle make sure your loop is pointing down and the ends are pointing up okay pin that in place that way you know it's not moving and then fold your fabric back over and then we're going to sew over that okay so all i'm going to do is go and sew right down along this edge don't forget to back stitch and clip your threads and also i want to show you that i went back and forth over this because it's going to be stressed hanging so i want to make sure it didn't pull out so i just went back and forth over it and then put your arm inside and grab it and flip it inside out or right side out it is inside out i'll be okay i have to do a voiceover because my my mic wasn't on i don't know what i was thinking but anyways pull this up you don't have to iron it at this point if you don't want to you can if you want to you don't have to i am not going to um just for the sake of this time of this video so your insides are already tucked in which is good and now you're going to get your towel this is a dollar tree towel that i got last year okay um gonna cut my tag off of course and then i'm just going to leave my towel folded and but i'm going to even it up okay it's they're never even i don't care what you do but um even it as best as you can okay and then fold it in half and then i'm going to take my scissors and while i'm pulling towards the fold crease which is which will be toward me you'll see in a minute i am going to take my scissors and i'm just going to cut along that line okay now you have your two pieces and there are two ways you can do this you can fold it like it is and just pull it out some and put it in there and you'll have a straight down towel I personally I don't like that look that's just me you can scrunch it up by either doing it by a machine or you can hand sew this just stitch across the top loosely and then pull it and gather it as you tuck it in i was going to do that but i'm going to make pleats on the side because i want my image to show so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to take this and i'm going to scrunch it up this is how you do a pleat you just fold it in over each other just like that and then i'm going to put this in there make sure when you put it in you tuck it up some okay um it's probably in there a good quarter of an inch well not quarter three-fourths of an inch in there um so that i know that when i sew it together i hit both sides so i just pleated both sides and then i'm just going to scrunch after i pin it you can feel the back and in, in your fingers to make sure you're pinning even and then I'm just going to pull this and tuck and pin. It's important that you pin this so that when you sew it, your towel doesn't fall out. Um, because that really stinks. But um, like I said, you can feel it with your fingers. You go pretty good, pretty good ways up three-fourths of an inch. And then pin it. Now, when you sew this across, um, it'll be even this one had a ruffle you could put a ruffle on the bottom or lace i'm not doing anything to these i'm just leaving them a towel so i'm gonna do this to both sides 
pleating and tucking, and then I'll sew it. Make sure when you're adding your other towel that you have it the same way. You don't want one towel facing down and one towel facing up. So make sure you pay attention and get your towels on the, on the boa the right way. Now you want to take it over to your machine, machine, mach <laughs> take it over to your machine. Oh goodness. Y'all leave your towel to the inside. Once you get over there, put your towel to the inside, your boa to the outside. Then we're going to move the needle all the way to the right and use the material as the guide along the edge of the presser foot and sew your towel to your fabric or your fabric to your towel. Okay, now it's all done, pins are out, it's sewn, it looks good, it's strong, it's sturdy, and now all you have to do is make sure your threads are clipped again and iron it. Make sure you try to get your crease out, you know, where you iron your, your seam flat. Um, sometimes this is not possible. It depends, but most of the time you could pull it out. So pull that out and then just give it a good press. Steam works wonders on this thing. Once you get it pressed, you are finished. Well, my kitchen boa or my craft boa, but it will be in the kitchen. But anyways, it's done. And personally, I, I like these better than aprons because like I said, you just throw them on. So if you like this video, Please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, and ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. With all that being said, you are a blessing, and I appreciate you. Until next time, goodbye.